Hello everybody, and welcome to Anodyne. Uh, this was kind of an indie game that, to be honest with you, really looked pretty neat. It was kind of based, uh, from what I can gather, on the Zelda games. And so I'm not, not entirely sure what to expect on it. Uh, this was an impulse buy. So I thought, hey, what the hell, I'll give it a shot and see, see what it's like. So I did play uh, a little bit that's three minutes just to kind of get into it, make sure everything worked. We'll go to a new game. Yeah. I know. Press C to start. Hello? Young? Hey! Oh! You can hear me. Good. Now listen. You're about to wake up. You will use the arrow keys to move around. Press the C key to interact with objects and people around you. Okay. And you will press the Enter key to access the menu, which will provide you with helpful information about yourself and your surroundings. Which didn't really provide much of anything. There is writing scrawled on this rock. Sometimes if you talk to people multiple times, they have new things to say. Well, it's about time. Er, I mean... Greetings, young. I am Sage, the village elder. You have been summoned here because the darkness has spread across the land. The darkness seeks the legendary briar. To use the briar's power for evil, you must reach it first. You must protect the briar. Village elder, in, uh, village elder in name only, for he is neither. Oh. Enter the active portal on your left to begin your quest. It doesn't bode well that you're still dallying about. Here. Enter the portal to begin your quest. The briar and, by extension, the world are in dire need. Just go in the damn door! <laughs> I thought that was pretty neat. And this was really... Uh, no, you know what? I did get slightly farther than this. Whee! So this... Nowhere, and then to the right, uh, because it's it's me, and I always had to investigate as much as I could. Nothing. So... Whee! I really miss this old graphic style, though. This door is locked. Whoop. Doom, doom, doom. And this is where I got it. An engraving on the broom handle reads, press C to sweep. Excellent. And yeah, this was pretty much it. But, uh, it was supposed to be kind of reminiscent of the old 16-bit era that uh, I think many of us fondly remember. I'm not sure what, what those health, maybe? This key may be used a single time to open a locked barrier. Perfect. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> I don't really know what I expected. Oh. Oh. Hello? Uh, ghosties? Your broom is now full of dust. Attack again to place it. Oh. Is there a purpose to that? I'm sure in later puzzles or something. Is that anything? No. Is that anything? No. Heads up! Eh? Who are you? Oh, hi. 
Sorry about that. I was going way too fast. Oh, I've never seen you before. Are you a fellow traveler? Huh? You want to protect the briar from the evil darkness? Well, I have no clue what you're talking about. But sounds cool, I guess. I've just been out and about, peddling my wares. What? No, I'm not a salesman. Wares is the name of my bicycle. Well, maybe we'll run into each other again sometime. I'll let you know if I hear anything about that briar. Okay, so that's life. It's kind of what I figured. The gate stairs petrified. It won't open until it senses four cards. Oh. Okay. Hello, Rock. <laughs> I didn't expect you to reply to me. I'll bet you're reading a rock because you don't have any friends. Ouch, Rock. It's a, it's a little harsh, I think. Still remember the uh, the great days of Link's Awakening on uh, Game Boy. Oh, hello, card. Where I see, I don't know how many people will will like remember the absolute stress of trying to make progress in a game before the batteries expired. That was, oh, that was such a, you know, there was no plug-in, really. I mean, there, there were adapters and such, but, I mean, most of the time, you just, you chewed through batteries so quickly. And so the goal was, you know, you gotta get through a dungeon before the battery dies, and, oh, good old days. Good old Zelda on many a car trips. Oh, hello. Soon your skills will be put to the test, young. In order to make it through this temple alive, you will need both strength and intellect. And I assume that by this point, you have found a weapon? Y yeah What? I mean, yes, of course, a broom! Uh... Just as was foretold in the legend. Uh, of all the incompetent... Hey! Uh, what are you still standing here for? Keep your wits about you, young. I've seen a broom in a legend. It was on the map of a janitor closet. <laughs> Roger Wilco. What does this do? Oh, God. Oh, okay, so we've got, like, a little warp portal here. Sorry as I, uh, continue to explore about just a little bit. I kinda... Okay, I don't think I can go this way. No. Alright. Uh, I can go this way, though. Hello. I have your card. Once a man came and installed a mirror in our bathroom. I was afraid that there was a hidden camera inside of it. I scoured every inch of the wooden frame, spraying Murray F Murphy's oil soap into the cracks, thinking I might short-circuit the wires. Of course, I never found anything. That was a... Oh, you know what? You may have more to say. I'm sorry. This temple is dedicated to the Seeing One. I don't know why I came here, and I'm too afraid to go inside. Damn it! I'm so not used to that in games. Okay. I remember, like, that's what you always did. You always just kept talking to them until they repeated themselves. I don't get it. Well, there's nothing really, I guess, yet. Are you... Your eyes are covered. I mean, granted, it is a temple dedicated to the seeing one, but... Nope. Dead. Oh, good. 
Uh, also used to the Zelda of him putting it over his head. Dun, 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 and like pausing the game for a bit. Fairly unexpected when that. Uh, give me dust, just in case I need it. Okay, we've got plenty of dust. Oh, and dust doesn't carry. Okay. Okay. Not too hard, I'm getting these puzzles. Oh. Peripheral vision is the hot hive of demons? What? Okay. I'm not sure how much that helps, but thank you. Oh. I am so good at this game. Go away. Ow! Oh, you took... Uh, and to this day... Oh, you know what? No, I did beat uh, Super Mario and the Six Golden Coins. Oh, man, that game. Freaking last castle. Oh, shit. The last castle of that was... Ugh. Hey, another card. A blobby. I know I do have a key. Uh, kind of how I like to play these games, though, is to... Explore as much as I can. Well, this is very tricky. Okay. I got it. Oh! I wonder... I'll bet you I don't. Shoot. Yeah. So you gotta somehow... How the hell am I gonna get him to go up? Oh. I think I can do this. Oh! Okay, that's enough. Gotcha. I was expecting to have to have both of them on there. Uh... Ow! Shoot. Okay, so there's no real way for me to hit him yet. And this just leads down. Gotcha. Okay. Still remember, uh... Like, couch gaming was so awesome. Trying to beat, uh... A Link to the Past with, uh... A friend of mine. He had a Super Nintendo at the time. I only had a Sega. That changed when my parents were incredibly awesome and got me a Super Nintendo for my birthday one year. But it was it was so neat. Just I don't know, couch gaming. your treasure chest. Get another card. So in terms of needing vast intellect to complete this... I don't know if I need vast. It's all fairly straightforward. But still, it, it seems like a fun game. Yeah, I think it's one thing people also don't really consider about the indie scene, is that 
the indie scene really isn't going to throw you amazing graphics. It's just that, you know, you've only got so many resources. But there's nothing that stops the storytelling. Ow. <laughs> so what? I don't get it. What's the point in that? Okay. I mean, I killed Red Blobby, but he's just gonna respawn. Right? I mean, Red Blobby's just gonna come back. Oh no, Red Blobby didn't come back. What? Come on. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, isn't it cute? Precious little young, playing the hero. But I have witnessed every step you have uh, taken in the land. And let me tell you, young, not everyone here is as honest as me. Be careful who you trust. Oh god. Oh god. Go away. Stop it. Please. What is that? Ah. Okay. I get it. This isn't too hard. Though it is just the first boss. So, I will be with you, young, whenever you are alone. And remember my advice on your little adventure. Uh. Yep. Hello? Oh, thank you. Little cicada thingy. What did you just vomit? Or was that you breaking out? At this point, you are still weak. If you hope to protect the Briar from the darkness, you must face your fears. The card you will find in this chest, and others like it, are symbols of your growth, so acquiring them is absolutely vital to your quest. The key will also play an important role in your quest. You must seek out other keys as well. Select the map on the menu screen to teleport back to the temple's entrance, and continue your heroic quest. Travel east and south through the temple grounds. You'll find a use for that key. What do you want, a piggyback ride to the gate? Or something? Oh, or something. <laughs> Acquiring cards is vital to your quest. Acquiring cards is also vital for other quests, such as earning credit or purchasing alcoholic beverages. Ah, well, in that case... Well, folks, this looks like a pretty good place to cut. So let's see where this game takes us, and uh, we'll go from there. As always, folks, thanks for watching. Tune in the next. Thanks for watching, everybody.